Hey guys, welcome back to Modeling Mentor, and in this final chapter we're going to be going over the weathering process for the Bandai Slave 1. As you can see, we've got all of our base colors on this model, but when I turn it over here to the back, you're going to see that even the back side of it has just about no color, just some very faint colors. So we're going to do all of these with oil paints. Now my oil paints are cheap Amazon oil paints, and they work pretty well, so we're going to get to speckling and oil painting. Enjoy!
All right, so after going through that first weathering process, I sealed the entire model with satin, and then I'm going through that process again. I feel like I was a little bit heavy-handed and didn't quite get the proper mixtures of colors going, so we're just gonna do that one more time. And this round, we really start getting some definition. Sci-fi models are a little bit different than tanks, and you don't have a lot of, I don't know, uh, leeway with all the different color changes. So I'm going a lot more, uh, muted on doing like really broad color changes on this round and sticking more with the black white yellow and just a hint maybe of other colors and really trying to get that streaking color and the reason why i'm doing vertical streaks going downwards is because the slave one when it sits on the ground sits on the ground just like you see it here it doesn't sit tilted up so anything rain wise and weather wise is going to come straight down the sides
Now we're moving on to the back side of the model, and you can see that we've just got our very light colors, our light grays, our light greens. So the first step is to get our shadows and all the darker colors in. So we're doing a wash of oil. So this is thinner and just a little bit of oil, enough to where there's enough oil in it to stick. And we're gonna cover over the entire model on the back side and on the fins. Then we're gonna go back with brush paper towel, sponge, anything that's going to soak up some of that oil, and we're going to rub it away. That's going to lighten the tops, leave the darks dark, and give us a really nice smooth finish. Now we're going to come back and we're going to start adding our colors. So we're going to do a muted, a muted um, brownish color for the engines to show all that burnt engine. Then we're also going to go back and do our greens. We're going to go with a nice dark green, mix that in. And basically we're just going to go back and forth with these oil paints to get the final patina that we're looking for with the weathering.
Now we're finally switching back to finish up the last couple pieces that weren't on the model. So we've got our laser cannons and Bubba Fett to do. Bubba Fett was really, really hard to shoot, so I'm not showing that, but basically he's gray with just a little bit of green and a little bit of red. Um, he's so tiny that the details are just impossible to really pick up. Um, with the cannons, we did our base color, so that really, really light tan color, and now we're going back with oil washes, and we're going to do a nice light even wash to bring out all the details. Then we're going to go back and do the dark wash that you see here for the barrels. All right, so we are almost finished with the whole thing. So we're putting on the last couple of pieces. We're going to get the glass installed, and then you can see what I'm going to be using for the base material, which is an expanded PVC foam cut into a circle. And I'm going to start using this type of base for all of the bases of our models, whether we're doing a diorama on top or not. And then I've got some clear acrylic that is going to use the same attachment that came with the kit that I painted black, and that's going to hold up the figure. So. Please subscribe if you liked these videos, and please look for the final presentation video in 4K after this one that really shows off the Slave 1. I really appreciate you guys watching. Also look for the live streams Monday through Wednesday, 9 p.m. Central. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon.